Welcome to Data Warehousing and Business Intelligence Management, Module 8, Section 1. My name is Pat Cupoli. I am the Certificate Mentor at Edmonds Community College, Pace at IT Data Management Program. In Section 1, you will recognize the major components of the data warehouse function. We will go over basic definitions, key concepts, core principles and guideline activities, areas of study, and primary takeaways. It is good to know some basic definitions and key concepts. Data warehousing is the term used to describe the operational extract, cleansing, transformation, and load processes and associated control processes that maintain the data contained within a data warehouse. Data warehousing is a technology solution supporting BI activities. A data mart is the access layer of the data warehouse environment to get the data out to the users. It is usually oriented to a special, specific business function or subject area. A staging area is where the source data is brought in, transformed, and cleansed, then loaded to the data warehouse or mart. The Inman data warehouse architectural approach includes a centralized, third normal form data warehouse with dependent data marts. They are subject oriented in that it refers to the organization of data along lines of major entities of the corporation. They are integrated in that it refers to the unification and cohesiveness of the data stored in the data warehouse and covers many aspects including key structures, encoding and and decoding of structures, definitions of the data, naming conventions, and so on. They are time variant in nature. Time variance of the data warehouse refers to how every record in the data warehouse is accurate relative to a moment in time and often shows up as an element of time in the key structure. They are non-volatile in that now, that it refers to the fact that updates to records during the normal pr processing do not occur, and if updates occur at all, they occur on an exception basis. The data warehouse is summarized and has detailed data, it must contain um, detailed data representing the atomic level transactions of the enterprise as well as summarized data. The data warehouse is historical in nature where operational systems rightly focus on current value data. A hallmark of data warehouses is that they contain a vast amount of historical data, typically five to ten years worth of data. The bulk of this data is typically at a summarized level. The Kimball data architectural approach includes one or more independent data marks with dimensional models, and dimensional models are comprised of fact tables representing and containing important business measures, and dimension tables, or dimensions for short, representing the important objects of the business and contain textual descriptions of the business. These are the major components of the data warehousing function described in the DEMA DMBOC. The first is define and maintain the data warehouse BI architecture. The second is to implement data warehouses and data marts. And the third is to monitor and tune data warehousing processes. You will complete a set of readings and videos related to these topics as you work through these activities, consider the following questions. What are the similarities of the two data warehousing architectures? What are the differences? What can be the relationship between a data warehouse and a data mart? What, and what are the key principles that should drive data warehousing BI monitoring? Primary takeaways include the following. Data warehousing is made up of two components an integrated decision support database, and secondly, related software programs used to collect, cleanse, transform, and store data from a variety of operational and external sources. 
The data warehouse process focuses on enabling an integrated and historical business context on operational data by enforcing the business rules and maintaining appropriate business data relationships. Classic characteristics of data warehousing architecture include two major approaches. Inman's approach, which is top-down, subject-oriented, integrated, time-varied, and non-volatile. And it has summarized and detailed historical data. It, basically, the use is to support the strategic decision-making processes for the corporation. Ralph Kimball's approach is more bottom-up. He takes, he says, take a, a copy of transactional data, specifically structured for query analysis, and um, structure it into a dimensional data model, which has facts and dimensions. And this it enables the user to understand and use the data more successfully and to address data warehouse query performance.